Hey homies, I'm Steven Iwashki. Thanks for joining me for this 30 minute dynamic, powerful yoga flow. This is an intermediate level class and we are going to just get right into it. Get moving, be dynamic, and get our flow on. Sound good? Cool. The bonus is, at the end, there is time for a full body stretch and even a short shavasana. Sound good? Unroll your mat, come into downward facing dog, and I will meet you there in just a few seconds. All right, please join me in downward facing dog. Straighten your left leg, bend your right knee, lift your right heel, stretch your left heel back and down. Really work to stretch your left calf muscles by lifting your hips up, moving your chest back. Change sides, straighten your right leg, bend your left knee, lift your left heel a lot, move your chest back, lift your hips up, stretch your right heel back and down. Go back to the first side, straighten your left leg, bend your right knee, and go to the second side, straighten your right leg, bend your left knee. Inhale, exhale, switch sides. Inhale, exhale, switch sides. Downward facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Shift forward to plank pose. Inhale, and downward facing dog. Exhale. Plank pose, Palakasana. Inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Change it up a little, inhale, shift forward to plank pose. And then look back at your feet, exhale. Roll to the right, so roll to the inside of your left foot, outside of your right foot. So just roll on your feet, and then bring your shoulders over your wrists again. Inhale, exhale, plank pose. Roll your toes, feet over to the left. Inhale, so you're on the inner edge of your right foot, outer edge of your left foot. Bring your shoulders over your wrists, exhale. Inhale back to plank pose, and exhale downward facing dog. Change that again a little, inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Roll on your feet, same thing, exhale. And then take your left hand onto your left side of your hips. Inhale, and then roll it back to plank pose, exhale. Inhale, roll over on your feet to the left, and exhale, bring your right hand onto your waist. Inhale back to plank pose, and exhale downward facing dog. Same thing again. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, roll over to the right. Inhale, left hand onto your waist. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale over to the left. Bring your right hand onto your waist as you exhale, and then inhale back to plank pose. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale here. Bend your knees, look forward and float or walk to the top of your mat. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale, stretch through your spine, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana again, and exhale, fold forward. Stand up and reach up, inhale, Urdhva Namaskarasana, and exhale, Tadasana. Keep going, inhale, Urdhva Namaskarasana, exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, and exhale, step back to plank pose. Inhale here, and exhale here. Push through your hands, push through your toes, and tone your belly. Inhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale, but we're going to go back to plank. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Down Dog. And then side plank. Inhale, roll onto your outer edge of your right foot. And then this time bring your left foot on top of your right foot. Exhale. Bring your left hand onto your waist. Inhale, look up. Stretch your left arm up. Exhale. Stay here, side plank or Vashistasana. Inhale. Plank pose. Exhale. 
go to the left. Inhale, roll over onto the outer edge of your left foot. And exhale, take your right foot on top of your left. Bring your right hand onto your waist, look up, inhale. Stretch your right arm up, exhale. Inhale here. And exhale, plank pose. Inhale here. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Keep moving. Exhale here. Look forward and with your breath out, move forward. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. And fold forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Stand up, reach up. Urdhva Namaskarasana. And exhale, Tadasana. Let's try that again. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, step back to plank pose. Inhale here, tone your belly, squeeze your legs in, and exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Side plank to the right, inhale, stack your feet, stretch your left arm up, and exhale, stay here. Inhale into plank pose, and exhale, side plank to the left, or Vashisdasana. Inhale here. Stay here, exhale. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Bend your knees, exhale, look forward and make your way forward. Ardha Uttanasana with your inhale, Uttanasana with your exhale. Stand up, Urdhva Namaskarasana, and exhale, Tadasana. Keep going, inhale, reach up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your chest, step or jump to plank pose, exhale. Vashisthasana to the right, inhale. Back to plank pose. Exhale. Vashisthasana to the left. Inhale. And back to plank pose. Exhale. Vashisthasana to the right. Inhale. And back to plank pose. Exhale. Vashisthasana to the left. Inhale. Back to plank pose. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Step your right leg forward for the lunge. Inhale, stretch your right knee forward over your ankle. And exhale, lift your torso, stretch your arms up. Inhale, hold your left wrist with your right hand and exhale, stretch your right knee forward. Inhale, reach up, stretch up. And exhale, side bend to the right. High calls on crescent, crescent, stay here. Inhale, and stay here. Exhale. Now we're going into warrior two. So. As you come up through center, spin your left heel down and keep going. Open it up, warrior two. Exhale. Straighten your right leg. Inhale. And trikonasana. Exhale. Let's keep going. Warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Straighten your right leg and exhale, trikonasana. Triangle. Do that again. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, trikonasana. Look at your right foot. Bend into your right knee, slide your right hand forward, Ardha Chandrasana, lean forward, lift your left leg, inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, stay here, and exhale, Ardha Chandrasana, squeeze your legs in, bend into your right knee, warrior two, inhale, float your left leg back, lift your torso, warrior two, exhale, bring your hands down to the ground, step back to plank pose, inhale and lower, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, up dog, Exhale, down dog. Step your left leg forward. Inhale, find your lunge and pause. Exhale. Lift your torso. Stretch your arms up. Inhale, Ashta Chandrasana, or crescent lunge. And exhale, grab your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. And exhale, side bend to the left. Crescent, crescent. 
Inhale here, stretch back through your right leg. And exhale here. And now we're gonna do that little flourish into warrior two. So come up, spin your right heel down, open your arms. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, and exhale. Straighten your left leg, inhale, and exhale. Triangle, Trikonasana. Back to warrior two, bend in your left knee, inhale, lift up. Straighten your left leg, exhale, Trikonasana. Again, inhale, warrior two. Exhale, Trikonasana, and this time, Ardha Chandrasana. Bend into your left knee, slide your left hand forward, lift it up, half moon, inhale. Stay here, and exhale. Squeeze your legs in, warrior two. Bend into your left knee, inhale. Float it back, lift up, exhale, warrior two. Bring your hands down and step it back, inhale. And Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Inhale, left dog, exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, come all the way down. Yeah, that's right, we gotta come down to our belly. Place your feet flat, start your arms out in front of you. So I call these locust up and overs. So Shalabhasana, or locust pose, is the pose we do here. But we're gonna make it a little more dynamic so that we are targeting our obliques. So lift your head, look forward, and then lift your arms up, and then lift your legs up. And then imagine that there's a block on the ground in front of your face, and there's a block back underneath your feet, and lift your legs and your arms up and over the block, and then take them over to the left. Arms to the left, legs to the left, bring your head down, and then we gotta go up and over the blocks. They're not really there, we have to imagine them. And we gotta go to the right. I think my little pine tree here is gonna get in the way, but that's what happens. Lift your head and chest, lift your arms, and lift your legs. Go up and over the invisible block and over to the right with your legs and your arms. Shorten your right side. All right, now that we got that, we'll do a few more of these. Inhale, come up and over to the left. Inhale, come up and over to the right. Inhale, come up and over to the left. Inhale, come up and over to the right. All right, let's do one more each side. Up and over to the left. And up and over to the right. I probably should have moved my blocks and stuff out of the way, but that's okay. Come back to the center and roll over onto your back. These ones I call cross core crunches. Sounds fun, right? Bend your knees, <laughs> place your feet on the ground, and then take your right hand, bring your right, bring your left knee in towards you, and touch your left knee with your right hand. Straighten your right arm. Lift your left heel so your foot is as high as your left knee. And then lift your head off the ground. Check out what's going on. You got your right hand on your left knee. Left foot as high as your left knee. Cool? Cool. Take your left hand behind your head. Stretch your right leg out straight and hover it off the ground. And then look up. Open your left elbow out to the side. Straighten your right arm. Push it into your left leg. And then we're going to cross our core and crunch. So we're going to bring our left elbow and our right knee to touch our right arm. So curl it up and in, crunch it in, and stretch it out. <laughs> curl it up and in, cross over, touch elbow to knee, knee to elbow, really to your arm, stretch it out. <laughs> curl it up and in, go a little higher, and then stretch it out. Lift your shoulders, curl it up and in, and stretch it out. Three more, up, curl, and out. Two more, curl it in, and stretch it out. One more, curl it in. Now jump, switch, so switch hands. Left hand to your right knee, right hand behind your head, straighten your left arm, straighten your left leg. Lift your right heel as high as your right knee, and look up. Inhale, and exhale, curl it up and in. Left elbow, sorry, left knee, right elbow this time, and open it up. Curl it up and in, lift your shoulders, and open it up. Crunch in, and open. Curl it in and open it up. Three more. And open it up. Two more. Curl it up. Lift your shoulders. Open it up. Curl it up and in. And bring your left foot right foot down. Take a breath. Feel that. Feel good. Roll to your side. Sit up and stand up. 
All right, so we're gonna just add a little bit more to that little sequence we were doing and see what we can do with it. Stand with your feet together, Tadasana. We're gonna front load that little sequence so it has a little bit at the beginning. Vrikshasana, tree pose. Turn your right leg out, bring your right foot inside your left leg for tree pose. I'm gonna turn to face you, but you don't have to turn, just stay where you are. Right leg on the inside of your left leg, arms up, Vrikshasana, tree pose. Now just keep turning around, just trying to figure out what the best angle is in case you're watching. Stretch your left arm out to the side, lift your right knee up and grab your big toe with your right hand fingers. So like, first two fingers around your thumb, uh, thumb? No, it's a big toe. Thumb around your big toe. <laughs> Open your right knee out to the side. Udita Hasta Padagustasana. Start to lift your right heel and maybe straighten your right leg. Even here, squeeze your legs in and stretch up through your spine. And then we're going to go to right leg forward or Utita Eka Padasana. So let go of your right leg and move your right leg so it's stretching out in front of you. Bring your hands onto your waist, lift up through your right heel. I'm going to spin around so I'm facing the right way. Lunge. Bend into both knees. Pull your right leg back and come into the lunge. Stretch your arms up. Crescent lunge. Oh, here we are. Hold your right wrist. Reach up. Inhale. And exhale. Crescent. Crescent. Side bend to the left. Warrior two. Inhale. Open it up. And exhale. Warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Inhale. Trikonasana. Exhale, warrior two, inhale, trikonasana, exhale, inhale, warrior two, exhale, trikonasana, ardha chandrasana, slide your left hand forward, float it up, inhale, and exhale, warrior two, bend into your left knee, inhale, come up, warrior two, and then exhale, step back to plank, lower, Chaturanga to Nasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now to the left, Vashistasana. Turn on the outer edge of your left foot, stack your right foot, stretch your right arm up. So this is stage one. Stage two is to bend your right knee and grab your big toe. Stage three is to start to open your right leg up towards the ceiling for full Vashistasana. Do your best. Squeeze your legs in wherever you are. Stretch long through your spine. And plank pose. Chaturanga Dhanasana. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Up dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Do three breaths here. Inhale, so two more. We've earned it. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and make your way forward. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale, lift your chest, and fold forward, exhale. Stand up and reach up. Inhale, Urdhva Namaskarasana, and Tadasana, exhale. Other side, left leg up, Rikshasana, inhale, and find your tree pose, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch your right arm out to the side. Lift your left knee. Grab your big toe. Inhale. Open your left knee. And exhale. Start to lift your left heel. Maybe straighten your left leg. Inhale here. Uttita Hasta Padigustasana. Squeeze your legs in. And exhale. Stretch up through your spine. Bring your left leg forward. Uttita Eka Padasana. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Bring your hands under your waist and exhale. And both knees a little. Step your left leg back. Inhale into crescent lunge. Shut your arms up. And exhale here. Hold your left wrist. Reach up. Inhale. Crescent, crescent. Side bend to the right. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale here, straighten your right leg, inhale, triangle, trikonasana, exhale. Come up, warrior two, inhale, 
and exhale, Trikonasana. Come up, warrior two. Inhale, and exhale, Trikonasana. Ardha Chandrasana, standing half moon. Float it forward, inhale, and exhale. Warrior two, float your left leg back. Inhale, Virabhadrasana two, and exhale, Chakarangita Nasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now it's Vashisasana to the right. Turn on the outer edge of your right foot. Take your left foot on top of your right. Stretch your left arm up. Vashisasana, stage one or side plank. Bend into your left knee. Grab your left big toe. Open your left knee, maybe. And if you're going for the full pose, straighten your left leg. Stretch out. Vashisasana. Plank pose. Chakdarangadanasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Bend your knees, look forward, and exhale. And make your way forward. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Uttanasana, exhale. Stand up and reach up, inhale. Urdhva Namaskarasana, and Tadasana, exhale. Stretch your arms up, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Take your arms back behind your head and look forward though. So instead of looking up at your hands, hook your arms back behind your ears. Squeeze your head with your arms, stretch your wrists straight up. Squeeze your legs in. So feet together, if your feet were separated, feet together, side bend to the right, in doodle lasana, or standing side bend. Shorten your right side, stretch your left side. That's what I really want. Stretch your left side. Come up to center. Side bend to the left. Stretch your right side here. Really stretch. And come back up to center. Bring your arms down to your sides. Separate your feet a bit wider than your hips. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Roll your shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulders together as you turn your upper arms out. And then fold forward for a nice wide leg forward fold. If your lower back is a little sore here, you can bend your knees and then move your chest back. And that's just going to help create a little more space in the vertebrae in your lower back. Just create a little more freedom there. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, everybody, and move your shoulders away from your ears, but also bring your hands up and overhead. That might pull you into a deeper forward fold. Cool. Carefully release your hands down to the ground and sit down. Keep your knees bent, lie down on your back. Bring your right ankle onto your left knee. Move your right knee away. And then bring your left knee up into your chest. And hold the front of your knee or hold your hamstrings, hold the back of your left leg, whichever is more comfortable for your knee. And then move your right knee away from your right shoulder. So your right knee, if you look at it, it's probably dropping down towards your right shoulder. Just move it up and away. And then bring your left knee in towards your chest a little more. Keep moving your right knee away so you start to feel this in your outer right hip. Stay here and breathe into this. Draw your left knee in a little closer. Move your right knee away a little more. And then carefully move your knee away, bring your left foot down, bring your right foot down to the ground. Change sides, take your left ankle up onto your right knee, engage your left ankle, dorsiflex it, and then bring your right knee up and in towards your chest so that you can hold either your back of your right leg or the front of your right shin. Pull your right knee in towards your chest and move your left knee away from your left shoulder. 
keep doing that work until you start to feel this in your outer left hip. Engage your left foot, pull your right knee in towards your chest, and move your left knee away from your left shoulder. You want this to be a deep glute stretch for your outer left glutes. That's what we're going for. Promised you a full body stretch at the end of class, and here we are, deep in it. Move your right knee away, bring your right foot to the ground, bring your left foot to the ground. Separate your feet as wide as your mat, and bring your arms into cactus pose. That's elbows bent, palms up at your sides. Then look over your right shoulder, move your knees over to the left. So this is Karangiyasana, windshield wiper pose. Look up to center, bring your knees up. Look over your left shoulder, move your knees to the right. And you can imagine that your knees are a little bit like the blades on the windshield or windscreen, keeping the rain off. Look to the right, lift your knees up, over to the left. And then look up and look to the left as you bring your knees over to the right. Just keep moving. From side to side, like you're keeping your vision clear so that you can ride down this road. I don't know, it's, it's the metaphor, it's occurring yasana. Just enjoy the movements in your hips. Next time you bring your knees over to the left, keep them there and stay there, look to the right. Think about moving your right hip towards your left foot. Just get a little stretch in your right side, in your right waist. And then come back up to center. Take your knees over to the right. Look to the left. And just a little stretch your left hip towards your right foot. and then come back up to center. Stretch your legs out straight on the ground. Stretch your arms up and overhead on the ground. I really like this. Hook your thumbs and then stretch through your fingers. Point your toes, stretch through your toes. Arch your back, stretch through your shoulders, stretch through your knees, stretch everything. And then relax. And then start to turn this into Shavasana. Bring your arms back to your sides. Adjust as needed so that you can be comfortable and relaxed here. Turn your palms up. Turn your legs out. Turn your gaze in. Close your eyes. If closing your eyes isn't relaxing, you don't have to. Relax as much as you can here. You've done the dynamic flow. You've got your powerful practice in. Now, sit in the glow of the rewards of your practice. If you have more time for Shavasana, please just press pause and you can hit play again when you're ready. Deepen your breath. Move your fingers. 
of your toes, of your wrists and your ankles. Just wake yourself up, stretch as and move as you like. And then when you're ready, and your knees turn onto your side. And make your way up to seated when you're ready. And we can meet in a seated position. Look down at the ground with soft eyes or close your eyes. Bring your hands together in front of your heart, Anjali Mudra. Thanks for making this time for yourself and your practice. Thank yourself for making this time. Have a fantastic day. Namaste. And that's how we do dynamic flow in adventure yoga. Or at least that's how we did it today. Thanks for joining me for class. I hope that that really helped you just let go of your day and get moving and Feel your body, feel your practice, feel alive. If you've got any questions about this class, put it in the comments below and I will get back to you, definitely. And if you're looking for another intermediate class to do with me, there's one there I recommend. Click on it, add it to the watch later list. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's super easy. You just gotta click my picture over there and you've subscribed. Simple as that. <laughs> Thanks, homies. Have a great day.